and welcome back again so this time we're going to be looking at cleaning up your voice through EQ and compression so let's say that your microphone is really quiet uh, let's say this guy when you record it it's not as you know big as these curves maybe yours got recorded in something like that so if we solo this And that's just not loud enough with the music. If the music was louder. We can't hear it at all. So how do we fix this? Well, one thing you can do is just lower the music volume. But that's still not enough. And we don't want to go over zero. So if you double click this audio right here, or if you if you have this menu show, uh, up here. What you want to do is either press shift tab or just double click this audio right here. It'll change between these. You can drop audio effects here. And so what we're going to do first is in audio effects, go down to EQ8 and go ahead and just drag that into either this line or down here. So now our second audio channel has an EQ. So typically when you're recording your voice, uh, your microphone will pick up some guttural low end sounds just from either uh, guttural sounds from your throat, in your body, or just you have bad acoustic recordings in your room. What we're going, going to want to do with this EQ is set this first curve right here to this, to a low cut or a high pass. Typically we could just call it a low cut. And just, you want to bring up this frequency right here. Now, every voice is different. And every microphone is going to record it, your voice a bit differently. And you also have to make sure that this, you don't filter out too much of your voice. So let's just listen to our voice with this over here. With this turned off. Oh, whoa. All right, now let's, let's listen to it with it turned on. Oh, whoa. Did you hear the difference? I'll play it one more time. Off. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. It feels like some of the bass was cut out. This is what the EQ does. And so now you want to try to make your voice sound cleaner. Uh, whoa. Uh, whoa. <laughs> but that's too, that's just too much. So typically a good spot for voice is around the 100 to uh, 180 mark. A, a very safe spot is just 120. Uh, whoa. But my voice is a bit lower on this microphone, so. Uh, whoa. Uh, whoa. Uh, whoa. Okay. So now, if we listen to it with the music. Uh, whoa. Yeah, sounds pretty clean. Uh, oh, well, my voice here doesn't, but that's besides the point. So now we want to, you know, listen to this guy over here. You'll see that they'll both take the same uh, audio signal and... Alright, it's clean and all, but it's too quiet. Now we're going to use a compressor. So just drag that in after the EQ. And by itself, by this default uh, settings, it won't do anything. What you can do here is, if you press play, you'll notice that the volume goes up to around here. So we're just going to drag this threshold down to around that, er that area. You'll see that they'll both take the same uh, audio signal and they'll both look the same. All right, now the voices are already noticeably louder. Let's listen to it with it off. You'll see that they'll both take... And on. You'll see that they'll both take the same... Uh... And now we have this gain now right here. Just raise that up accordingly. You'll see that they'll both 
take the same uh, audio signal and they'll both look the same. There you go. Now your voice will be loud. Keep in mind that if you don't record your voice properly, you're only going to start raising background noise along with your voice. So be careful with how much you lower this threshold because essentially that is just the sensitivity at which uh, the compressor will raise the volume of everything in that audio clip. All right, and in the next part of this little tutorial, we'll talk about what to do with the master channel.